Hey guys, this is episode 22 of my Let's Play series. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to continue working on the uh, witch farm. And, I, well, really I'm going to show you what I'm up to and then I'm going to do some more work and then cut to that work and that's what I'm going to do in this episode because I'll be nothing but half laying half slabs and I'm pretty sure that'd be uh, pretty boring. So I'm going to make it as interesting as possible. So, as you can see, I've already started with the half slabs. Now, um... I've already counted 128 blocks from the edge here all the way in each direction so that's exactly what needs to be laid all this needs to be filled in with half slabs huge amount of half slabs so 128 which just goes over there to the trees and I've um, yeah and I've also built a uh, a little part here this is where the um, we're going to have our nether portal to go to the nether hub. And as you can see, that goes all the way back to the edge of the forest there. So all this is going to be cleared out, cut down. Ooh, lots and lots of work. So, yeah, now we got the nether portal. This is where it's, we're going to pop out. So I think that looks cool. It's all made of half slabs. So it should be right. I think the most pain in the butt thing about this build is um, down this way. Yeah, it's going to be the forest. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's going to be the forest is going to be a pain. Um, probably the best thing about this at the moment is when I'm working over there at night time, the only thing I'm getting is slimes coming through, so I can work decently well on hard at night time. Yes, hello cow. Um, so yeah, all this is going to be a major problem. Like, I've got to clear out all this. Like, I've already counted 128 blocks, which comes all the way out here. This is... This is 129 blocks, actually, this block here. Um, so I did go one extra, but it doesn't matter. So I've got to clear out that way, and I've got to clear out that way. All the way, uh, what, what blocks in those directions. So I don't know where, this, where to start. It's, it's just so much work. I, I'm just, um, do I start clearing out this entire forest first, or do I go to an easy part and start laying half slabs over that direction? Or what? I have no clue. I'm thinking about just bringing it in flint and steel for all these trees, eh? <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, no, it's a lot, a lot of work. Um, so okay, let's straight up. I need to get a nether portal going, like nether portal going, so we can hook that up to the nether hub. And yeah, I need to do that first because I need to get a lot of chests and stuff out here. Because if I do cut down trees, I will be Keeping all the wood. Yeah, well, yeah, of course I'll be keeping all the wood. Okay. So that's what we're going to do first. Is getting one of these. I've already taken down... I've already taken down the, um... The coordinates. I've got a, a piece of paper right next to me. And I've already divided it by eight, so... I got that already done, so I don't have to do that on camera. So let's, this should take us back to whoa, the normal portal. I hope it doesn't create a new one. No, it didn't create a new one. Okay, so first off, let me get that piece of paper out. X24 and Z-86. Okay. X24. Well, we're pretty much on 24. Yeah, this is 24. We just need to go to minus... 86. So, damn, this pickaxe is insane with this stuff. Okay. Stop having fun, data. I wish it would mine that quick norm in uh, normal stone. Okay, 24. Um, now we need to go to minus. Uh, what was it again? 86. Minus Z86. So, let's go. Oh, wow. Man, if I could mine like this, back on the, the overworld, oh man, it would be much easier. Well, keep going. 86, almost there. Uh, 85, 86, what we're standing on exactly now. Alright. Mm. 
Alright, there we go. Cleared it out. Oh, what the... What the hell? Oh, that was unusual. Alright, I've got another crap, oh, almost broken pickaxe. Okay. Alright, portal is built. Now this, oh, create a nice little square room. Just so we can get to it easier. I really got to spend some time out here decorating and building this hub a lot nicer. There we go. So this should take us straight back to the witch farm. Yes, it did. Awesome. Okay, so now we can go back to base and yeah, I'm gonna probably get an enchanted shovel, enchanted axe. I need a bunch of stuff and I start I've got to start carrying all the cobblestone out to the uh, the witch farm itself but what I'm gonna do is when we when we start work I'll what I'll do instead of speeding it all up you know and all that stuff I'll uh, I'll record it all but I won't just I won't add it so I'll record it all and I'll just skip straight ahead to and show you updates exactly where I'm up to and what I'm doing and we're back at base. Wow, that just cut so much off the distance. Okay. What do I need to do first? I can unload these nether racks to a uh, random chest because I do not have a designated chest for those yet. Can we get some diamond out? I want to throw a crazy diamond enchant shovel up. What? I only need one. What are you doing? There we go. So let's get the diamond shovel going first. And I'm gonna bring, go down to the potato tower, pick up some more potatoes, and go cook them up. So we'll go do that as well. What? Ha! Ah. I'm really unorganized. Daddy, you gotta make the shovel first. And I'm probably gonna go out to my XP farm, get another 30 levels. And do an enchanted axe for that forest to make it a lot easier. Okay, be nice to me. Unbreaking three. Oh, I was hoping for efficiency and unbreaking. Doesn't matter. All good. Okay, so that's one. Uh, we'll go to get some food because we're gonna need a few stacks. I'll take a few stacks out there. Oh, and I gotta put some. Well, when this witch farm's done, I'll have unlimited supply of glowstone dust, which is gonna be good for the. I'm gonna put street lights out here. And uh, maybe in, in future patches, like um, I noticed with all the snapshots and stuff that's going on, um, there's light sensors. Oh, I could see me doing like, you know, lights all out here and turning off and on during night time and such. Ah. Oh. Potatoes, I'll take a few of these. But that's all I can fit now. I have another stack in. I replanted them as you can see. Mm -hmm. And I've got to come down here and harvest one day and replant. Um, so back to base. So I'm sure laying all and digging all that stuff out is going to take quite a few days. So I hope everyone can be pa you know, patient. Alrighty, we'll get all these potatoes cooking. We'll get some chests made and we'll go out back to cook some potatoes. I love baked potatoes with a bit of chicken. Mm -mm. Okay, so that's cooking. Alright, so I will turn this jungle wood into something. Get a few chests up. Okay, so I've got four chests. I can take that out with me. I've got to wait this cooked. And yeah. 
I will be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. It is raining outside and I am currently going to run all this back to the witch farm and get all these chests up in, in a spot where we can use them and then I'm going to go to the XP farm and um, get some more levels to whoop, back here to get some more levels to enchant probably a a axe to chop down all those trees I was going to burn them all but then again it might burn down way more than it's supposed to So yeah, today I just really, 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 really want to get everything prepared and ready and just spend hours and hours and hours placing half slabs and uh, digging out this damn forest that's here. I did make a bunch of chests too. Okay, we'll just throw them in here. Alright, so there we go. We can put all the food in there, put a shovel in there for now. Um, the stone slabs that I've been using for making the nether portal area, we can put these in here now because there's really going to be for decoration later on. And we don't need obsidian right now. We don't need trapdoors either. We don't need flint and steel. Um, the cauldron can go in there so it can sand. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go get some XP levels and make some few enchanted stuff. I will be back soon. Alright guys, I am back. Um, I got a few things enchanted actually. I was uh, doing a bunch of um, things. I finally I got another shovel and I got unbreaking and efficiency. And uh, I did another pick. Um, I mean another axe, but I got fortune and efficiency again, so too bad for the unbreaking. Ah, it's gonna rain. Um, so I decided I'm doing this trunk first. I'm going to start clearing all this out. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, it's gonna probably take all day just to do this part here. And um, yeah, so I'll probably end up pausing the video. Um, and just start working. That's what I gotta do. I suppose. Hello, cow. Get off my path. Actually, give me some beef. Thank you. Yeah. So I'll end up. Um, I'll end up. What I'm gonna do first, actually. I'm going to. Going to the end here. And what I'll do is. Uh, Oh, test money shovel out. Oh yeah. So what I'll do, whoops, is uh, cut through the forest here, like create a square, so I know exactly how much I'm clearing out. It's just, yeah, I'm gonna get that done. All right, guys, I'll be back later on, late this afternoon or slash tonight. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so this is what I'm up to. It's the end of the first day building this massive witch farm project. Um, I've been at this for at least several hours now. I've um, cleared out the forest. Um, so what I ended up doing is cutting down these large trees here, cutting them down and um, burning most of the, the shrubs because the forest is so dense that's what took so long putting half slabs down is is not too much of a problem it's clearing the mountain out f to put it, to put it down and um uh and uh actual trees itself it's just so dense getting rid of it all because if i dug underneath it the whole lot then i would have to build structures to get up to the tree so i figured you know chop off the top of the block you know, get rid of all the trees and shrubs and all the the junk in this forest here and then work from there on but far out that just took so long I just I didn't actually realize how long it would take and the ridiculous amount of wood I've already got more than a chest of chest and a half of wood um, from this the rest got burnt uh, I've still got that part of the forest to go but that's a different day I haven't even finished the first square yet 
Uh, it's just ridiculous. This project is going to take way longer than I thought, especially half slabbing everything, and probably more half slabs than I have. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just thought I'd show you what exactly I'm up to. I'll show you the all the logs I've got. Yeah, so all that just crazy. Uh, yeah. So and I've used up already. Uh, I'm on my last diamond pick. Well, not last. I've used up all my enchanted diamond. Uh, axes gone chop chopping all that wood down is just extreme so the last little bit of this square now um, is really just clearing out all this land and replacing it with half slabs and flattening everything down but yeah now nah, it's the end of day one and I'm exhausted already uh, my mind's gone numb <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to call it for today and get stuck back into it tomorrow um, finishing off this square so yeah well as you can see I've um, just uh, put half slabs like in a giant square so I, I know what I'm doing and then I, and I'll do strips up and down up and down up and down until I'm done so hopefully I get I'll spend another several hours if I have time tomorrow spend another several hours tomorrow night um, finishing off this square and then I can get started on the second jungle area so yeah there's a couple of bits of trees that the fire didn't get or I didn't get um, yeah so this uh, this is all 128 blocks out so well this block here should be 128 blocks out I'm hoping I hope I don't have to clear any more stuff out um, so yeah anyway guys um, I guess I'll uh, do another update tomorrow. I'll catch you all later. Hey guys, so I finally finished one corner of the farm of the witch farm project. Um, I've been taking screenshots all day long. I've just I've been at this all all day. Um, it was a pain in the butt. It took way longer than I thought. But this is the most painful corner. Uh, the next corner would be that one, but it's not so painful. So we got all that forest to clear out, but most of it over most of it is actually water in this so that is tomorrow's job that's the third day working on this and then probably fourth and fifth day so five days probably just laying half slabs now I did um, I did keep a lot of the resources as I um as I am um, 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 what was I gonna say ah sorry um, I did keep the resources like the mountains that I was digging out. I kept most of it like all the all the stone got reconverted into cobblestone and the um, the dirt same thing I started packing them into chests as I went along just in case you know down the track we need dirt for a project I thought might as well start stockpiling it now but yeah I just I started stockpiling it all as I, I as I was going along farming it but but what I was doing is um I was I was taking the top off with TNT of the the mountains and then digging the rest out by hand so it's finally done I'm I'm happy this corner's done because as I said this was the most painful corner this was this was all jungle right here and I had to clear it all away so that's done as I said I got I'll do start this corner tomorrow um, only the edges are really jungle I've got to take care of that first I'll start by taking down all the trees and then taking off all the land and then laying all the half slabs and yeah it's about a corner a day anyway guys I just thought I'd run through a quick update I'll catch you later
Hey guys, so it's end of day, or oh, yeah, day three here, and uh, I finished another corner. Hooray! <laughs> Far out. This this um, the amount of uh, cobblestone slabs is just insane. Uh, but it was the second hardest area to get done because, like, just where where my cursor is, uh, all this was here was jungle and um, mountains. But, you know, I started off by burning down most of the forest and um, cutting up all wood, adding more wood to my chests and then running TNT over the mountains and then taking off a layer, then digging the rest out by hand. Um, so, yeah, no, that's so I got, that's how I got that done. But the half of this was just water. So that was the best part. Uh, so hopefully these last two sections won't be as long because there won't be digging or burning out forests or mountains or whatever to get down to the proper level um so yeah no it's just a quick update um and i'll probably get started tomorrow uh as soon as i can i don't know how much time i'm gonna have free tomorrow so maybe a couple of days just to get one corner done but we'll we'll see what happens um it's just this project's insane <laughs> A lot bigger than I thought. I thought it would be very simple, but it's, you know, not extremely simple. Um, yeah, I've still got to knock out a few tree trunks that haven't fully burnt down and uh, start clearing out the next area. But, yeah, I just, just wanted to show you what I was up to. Uh, um, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to go to bed now and um, start on the next section tomorrow hopefully I'll catch you all later Hey guys, so it's the end of day four and um, just a small quick update. I have finished another corner. So that's one, two, three corners done and I have a massive problem. I am pretty much almost out of cobblestone. Very worrying. I've got one chest left. One of these takes at least three to four chests of cobblestone because when you're making half slabs, uh, splitting, it, it nearly triples, your, triples the chest which is which is good I'm done! Oh my god! I'm done! Finally! I'm done. Hey guys. So, this is um, day six actually. I didn't end up finishing it last night. I got way too tired. So, I'm finishing it off this morning. It is lovely, bright and early. And I am now officially 100% done with the massive 128 by 128 giant square. Yeah, there's a few trees I still got to take care of because the fire hasn't taken care of it yet so I'll do that soon but I'm going to relax for a little bit now. I did end up running out of cobblestone uh, so I ended up hooking up a cobblestone generator and I was just sitting here mining away all the um, all the cobblestone I could get back from just the generator um yeah, so I've got to start transporting so much junk home. It's not even funny. Oh, I'm happy that's all done. I ended up going through quite a bit of shovels. Just junk 
everywhere. Oh. But hey, I am happy that this giant square is now complete. I've got to take down that tower. Because, um, yeah, no, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to put this video together either. I, uh, I did get a lot of footage of me laying half slabs and also I took photos. I made, uh, I resurrected these pillars on the corners. I'd climb them. Uh, I would do a few sl like a few runs around of the um, laying the half slabs, then run up them and take a picture and yeah, and then I would uh, move it once once one corner was complete, move it. But you know, we started on this corner, which was a jungle corner, which was the most pain in the butt bit. Second pain in the butt bit was this bit here. The third one was real simple because most of it was a little bit of land, but mostly water. Third one, 100% easy, all water, fantastic. So it is, I'm, I'm just, oh, I'm relieved, I think, that it's done. Now, I'm going to end up giving it a few days break before I start on the caving. Because uh, now that all the slabs are down, um, all the caves underneath the slabs have to be lit up. Um, yeah, so that's got to be done, but I won't be starting on that for a few days yet. And um, and then once we've lit up all the caves, then we can start designing the rest of this witch farm and how it's all going to sit. And yeah. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching episode 22, I think we're up to. And um, I'll catch you all later.